Hey guys, welcome to this video. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Apple Watch Ultra on my wrist, how it saved my life this year, and how it can help you, and why this is relevant to you. If you're looking for an Apple Watch, this is probably the video to watch. There's lots of watch, watch, watch in there. Probably cut that out. But I thought, what better way to do this video than come outdoors on something active with the dog, and talk it through. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new to the channel, then stick around because this could be quite interesting for you as well. In 2022, I caught the dreaded C virus. To preface this, 2020 saw the decline of my training and fitness in terms of how many times a week I was pushing my body, how many times I was training intensely and running and doing all that because I developed chronic pelvic pain syndrome, which was incurable as the doctor said until I found functional patterns and at that point I found a way out of the hole that I found myself in with the pain and the chronic pain. Now why that's important for this video is because in 2022 I was two years into my chronic pain and I got the dreaded C and in the build-up to that what I noticed my watch telling me was that I wasn't feeling great and I didn't feel 100%, I have to admit, but I just put it down to work and a bit of fatigue. That was how I thought about it at the time. Realistically, if I take an overview of my health since I got uh, chronic pelvic pain syndrome in 2020, my health kind of steadily dwindled a little bit. I lost sight of what it was to really be dialed in on my nutrition because I was in pain and I needed to feel a bit better. At the same time, I couldn't train the way I wanted to train. So I didn't train because I was in pain. And so in that context, I felt like I wasn't achieving much, but I always wear a smartwatch and mainly because I like it. I think it's really good information. And even though I wasn't the healthiest person in the world, I was still 10 to 20% healthier than the average person, if not more. Fast forward, got caught with the V April in April, 2022 and my stats on my watch for the days leading up to and the days after were insane. It took me a very long time for my resting heart rate to come back down to normal. My resting heart rate is normally about 40 to 45 beats per minute. When I had the V, it went up to 110 beats per minute and it stayed there for several days and then it dropped down to about 50 or 60 and it only recently started coming back down to its normal 45 40. Why that's important is because that information told me something was wrong. It gave me an insight into what I should be doing with my life and it made me see that actually recovery from having something like that should have been a lot longer for a lot of people and the reason I listen to my watch is because it's hard for me sometimes if I've had chronic pelvic pain it was hard for me to discern through the pain how ready my body was for the situations that I would find myself in, whether it was a walk, whether I needed to maybe want to go for a run or something like that. So that was important. Fast forward to this year, my family haven't had the best start to the year, unfortunately, in terms of health. And there's been some things going on there that I can't go into on this channel, but just understand it's been quite stressful. On the flip side of that, something really exciting happened. I got married in April. So from January to April, there was a lot of anxiety. There was a lot of stress. And in February, I went for brunch with my family to a restaurant. They all ordered, I ordered. I ordered smoked salmon and scrambled eggs with sourdough bread. And the waitress came out and said, look, I'm sorry, sir, we don't have smoked salmon. What would you like instead? I said, well, give me some bacon, please. The moment that I ate that bacon, everything changed. My whole body felt like it had shut down and wanted to go to sleep. I wanted to drink every ounce of water that there was on the table. I also needed to go to the toilet several times to wash my face. And on the way home, felt like I was gonna fall asleep whilst driving. So I stopped, bought myself a can of Coke to help myself out. And in the end, that didn't work out because it only made things worse. Caffeine and what you're about to find out doesn't mix. When I got home, I went straight to bed. I knew that my body wasn't ready to do anything strenuous. Three hours later, I woke up, my resting heart rate was elevated. 
it was 110 beats per minute again something weird i thought about the dreaded c again went downstairs took a test i was negative so i'd ruled that out decided to rest for the rest of the day went to work the next day still feeling pretty much the same but booked in to see the doctor in the afternoon and at that point they sent me straight to hospital because my blood pressure was near enough 200 over 110 which if you know anything about blood pressure you'll know that that's exceedingly high by the time i got to the hospital it was 230 over 140 and at that point i really didn't think things were going to end well they have ended well i'm okay and the reason i say the apple watch saved my life is because in the midst of all of that i was still monitoring what my sleep scores were like. I was still monitoring my HRV. I was still monitoring my resting heart rate. And it was those things, plus the general feeling of not feeling very well, that I decided to reach out to my doctor and get some advice. I'm not the kind of person to ring the doctor every day. I'm not the kind of person to go to the dentist any anytime soon. I'm because I like to think I can look after myself. And I think that in some ways, that's something that we can learn from actually having all this technology in our lives. Some see it as a problem, others don't. I see it as a massive win and something that actually helped me to save my life because if I hadn't looked at my watch data, if I didn't know how my heart rate was responding, if I wasn't aware of how I felt, I just felt unwell, I probably would have carried on the way I was for a few more days. And if my blood pressure had continued at 230 over 140, well, I don't know how much longer I would have been on the planet. So the reason I'm telling you that is because there are things that these watches can do. There are things that these smart things can do that get marketed and get sold by companies like Apple. And if they're marketing something that these things can do, they're probably on point. They're probably relevant. And it's probably something that we should be looking at as a nation, as a community, as a, as a people. Like, what have we got? What tools have we got available to us that are going to help improve our lives, improve our health? And I believe that this thing does. I believe it saved my life. I believe with that information, I made an informed decision to sort myself out. Now, the reasons for the high blood pressure, well, that's an interesting one. Nobody knows. I kind of have an idea. And my theory or my, my premise is that Having chronic pelvic pain stresses my autonomic nervous system quite dramatically. And with that, it has caused a spike in blood pressure coupled with stress, coupled with anxiety, and coupled with caffeine, and coupled with salt from the bacon. I believe that I had an episode of high blood pressure. So I believe those things because I, I've tested it since. I had bacon a few weeks back and ended up having to go to bed again so i know for a fact that there is a fine line for me and something like an apple watch and a smart device really insightful for me to manage my day-to-day -day activities to manage how much exercise and exertion that i get because it's important for my long-term health hopefully that's been a helpful video for you today and if you're thinking about buying an apple watch ultra or you're thinking about buying a smart watch in general it's probably a good idea get yourself involved, start using technology to your advantage to help your health. Have a great day, stay strong and keep moving.